So today we want to talk about three elements of successful preaching, preaching through personality. And this first concept was originally by Philip Brooks. And he did a series that's really good. If you want to look it up and see the full fullness of it, this is the Yale lecture series. So you could you could Google that. I think it may be online. Um, it's from the late 1800s and um, late 18 to 1900s, and it's really good because it goes over. He really loved when it comes to preaching through personality. So now we want to. These are three concepts that really stuck out to me that I wanted to share that I know was a blessing for me and I want it to be a blessing for us. So all right, number one, three elements of successful preaching. Number one, we have to, this is the number one thing, preaching the gospel. Okay, so we might wonder like, why is this important? And I want us to have our Bibles and we go to John 3.16. And this is so important because it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And the reason why this is so important is because this is pointing with the center of all, everything that we should be preaching about. So the first thing, it brings us to John 3.16, okay? So John 3.16. And then if we turn right back to Matthew 5, we'll see the preaching of Jesus. And Jesus is uh, showing us the new, the new kingdom, the kingdom that we are supposed to be spending eternity in. And he starts to go through, blessed are the poor in spirit. This is the gospel. This is saying like when we come to the realization of full humility, knowing that there's nothing in us that's good and everything that is good comes from God. So if you study the Sermon on the Mount, blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. So these are two formats, all right? So we have Matthew 5, 1 to 11. 1 to 10, 11, all right? And then, and then blessed are you when they revile, revile you. So this concept right here is preaching the gospel everything that we are preaching is pointing to jesus and us relying to him and then we have some other elements like we have philippians 4 13 where it's pointing to christ as our strength so every single sermon rooted in this concept all right and then now we start talking about the transforming power of God's love, Holy Spirit, working in us. So now, this is why it's so amazing, because we have the gospel as a foundation. Next, we have Christ as our strength. I could do all things through Christ who strengthens me, transforming power of God's love. And I'll just put this again just to kind of give this an emphasis, the power of divine love. All right, so that, that's the first concept. If you, three elements of successful preaching, if you want to have successful preaching, it has to be number one, rooted in the gospel. The gospel has to be the foundation of the message. And now we have number two. Number two is preaching. This is what Jesus always did. He preached to individuals so he made it personal like if you it, again we're going to use the same Matthew 5 1 to 11 as our example and then even if you look at now you could even look at 11 to 14 and then you look at 11 to 14 I love this part because Jesus he used you are you are the salt of the earth you are and then he goes again you are you are the light so this is so beautiful because now this is jesus being 
being personal. So every time Jesus preached, he was preaching to individuals, and that's what we want to do. We want to preach to make sure that we are reaching the soul. And when we preach, we're not saying, oh, please believe in God. Give your life to God. No, we have to really let the Holy Spirit empower us so we can say, Christ is our only hope. There's no other hope but Christ. So Jesus has transforming power to save you individually. Jesus has the transforming power. God, through Jesus, through the power of the Holy Spirit, is going to transform you individually. And that comes back to preach, preaching that transforming power of the Word of God and the love of God where we have to preach to them individually so that they know that they could be changed. So this is, number one is preaching the gospel. Number two is preaching to individuals and preaching individually. Now, the third one is very important. This is personality. So we have to know that Christ works through us. Okay, Christ is working through us. So why is this so important? And this, this is the concept that's coming from Philip Brooks. He, he wanted to emphasize and say that you have to understand that God made you to be who you are as a preacher. God made you individually. So he wants to work through that personality. And, and it's so important because we need to think our original thoughts. When we read the word of God, we need to see what God is speaking to us as individuals and to let that transform our lives so that we could share that with others. That's number one. And number two is not repressing that originality that God gives us. God gives us originality. So there's two types. You could try to be original on a surface level where oh, I'm just going to dress different. I'm just going to look different. I'm going to put my hair different. Or you could have a deep originality that comes from God. God made you original. And that is the noble originality. That's the originality that, that God really wants to work through you. He wants that noble originality, not just a surface originality. He wants you to be truly who he made you individually to be. He made Peter one way. He made John one way. He made Paul one way. And he made all of us individual. He made you individual. So don't be afraid to allow God to work through you to allow your light to shine, the, sh the light that God has placed in you. So And let it not be for show, but let it be because you're full of faith and you're full of the love of Christ working through you. So I hope these three tips were a blessing so you can have successful preaching. Number one, always preaching the gospel, which we can find in John 3, 16 to Matthew 5, uh, the Sermon on the Mount. All, always rooting it in Christ being our strength, transforming power of God love, power of divine love. Preach to individuals, you are the salt, you are the light, but knowing that Christ is not, is not a hope, that's not it. Christ is not a hope for us. He is our only hope. And we really need to stress that to, to individuals. We really need to stress that. So that's one thing that we want to really bring up. Christ is our only hope. And then the last one, pers pers personal, right? You want to make personal and you want to make personality shine. So individual personality and let it be because you are full of faith and you're full of the love of Christ. So I pray that these three tips was a blessing. And I want to take this moment to pray for all of our preaching, that it can be successful preaching because it's empowered by the Holy Spirit that God gives us. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you so much for uh, enlightening us with these tips that we can use to have a better preaching. But most of all, Father, you know that the sermon comes from a humble life. The greatest sermons are preached from individuals who have emptied ourselves and allowed you to come inside so that you can preach through us and that power of the Holy Spirit could work through us. So everyone that's watching this video, I pray that they could be blessed with the power of the Holy Spirit so their whole entire life could be a sermon. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you all for uh, viewing the video. If you find it helpful, if you find these tips helpful, uh, be sure to share it with somebody else. And I pray that we could continue to be blessed and learn more about how to preach God's word.